Okay guys, this is take two. For some reason the audio in the original video didn't work. But uh, just to go over the um, accommodation that I use for my ferrets. Yes, as you can see it's fairly large, it fits right in the corner of my room. Uh, I got this cage from, I think it was a website called petplanet.co.uk for about uh, roughly £170. And well, as you can see it's quite big. I've got, uh, to start, I've got a dark area for them to kind of chill out. For them to hide in. And I think they're all, they're all hidden away under blankets. So if we just uh, try not to disturb them. Now, when I originally did this first take of this video, uh, they hadn't been fed. But uh, as you can see, they've now been fed. And that's the uh, kind of food that they're on. It's uh, James' well beloved ferret food. It's a kibble. And uh, yeah, that's the top floor. This is just where they uh, hide out. They've got two hammocks. We've got the one at the top, and then obviously the big brown hideaway one. And uh, yeah, so they eat up here. Ooh, there's a. Uh, Buried head down there. She's uh, asleep. If I can get out there. Too dark. But uh, yeah, so we've got the second floor. This, this is Lady's favourite. She likes to uh, chill out up here, right in there, in the fluffiest blanket going. Uh, the blankets, we got the grey ones, they were donated to us. And then the two spotted brown ones, they were. I think they're about eight pounds each. They're cat blankets, actually, from uh, pets at home. They're um, they're actually really nice, nice quality. Uh, yes, and then we've got their toilet area, as you can see. They're litter trained to a, to an extent. They're not perfectly litter trained, but we've got the high backed high back litter trays, which. Uh, are really good as if you didn't know ferrets they like to back themselves into corners when they go to the toilet so uh, yeah that's that and then this pink one here that's a uh, that's a recent addition actually because uh, they've for some reason they've started pooing and weeing in front of the uh, in front of that back one there I don't know what's going on there but oh I think she's stirring no you're just going to be lazy and sleep. Okay. So uh, that's really all there is. But ever since, uh, ever since I've got this, it's given them a new lease on life. The or the original cage. No, oh, she's tired. There she is. Oh hello. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Yes, the original cage that they come with. It was okay for the first couple of years, but... Years, sorry, not years. First couple of months, but they've soon outgrown it. And it got to the point where they were... Uh, they weren't getting enough exercise out of that. But this one's... They've got better ladders for them. They're always, they're always around. They're always walking up and down. So, to the point actually where um, they get that more, they're that more active. That I had to take them to the vet the other day because Nim has lost a hell of a lot of weight. So, that's uh, that was quite worrying at first, but it, the vet determined that it was just down to a change in lifestyle due to the new accommodation and they get more exercise because they get let out for an hour or hour and a half every day so uh, yeah that's that isn't she cute that's a lady I think hello 
Hello, beautiful. Yes, it's definitely lady because she licks. Ooh. Back in. Watch your head. Righto. So, uh, because this is the second take of the film, the video, uh, I did actually top up their food and did a food prep. So, we'll jump straight to that then. So, I'll be right back. Right then, so the food that we use is James Well Beloved's ferret food. For some reason, they absolutely adore this food. So, I'll run you through how we prepare it. Firstly, we wash the bowl out after every time, just to make sure. And then, we like to feed them. They were on a strict kind of just leave the food in the cage diet. But then I decided like because they were having trouble eating, like getting food trapped in the roof of the mouth and then uh, what not, I decided to start soaking the food. So now I don't feed them as much as I used to. I only put 100 grams for each ferret in the actual bowl and then I soak it for a couple of minutes and then we uh, give it to them and soaking makes the food more palatable so they enjoy the taste more it stops them from getting bored of the food that's how with most animals, dogs, cats, if you make wet food available after they've been eating dry for a while, or even so, just wetting dry food, then it gets uh, more palatable for them and they enjoy it more. So we get the wine scones. And we make that to the wine I don't feed them in separate bowls, they share it and they usually eat the same amount anyway. Some pre-boiled kettle. And then we just let that sit for a couple of minutes. And that's that. And then we go and serve it to them. Uh, I'll skip this bit, so I'll be right back. And look who's here to greet me with the food. Okay. Where's your sister? this the back into the food bowl. And there you go. And that's what soaking your food does to pet to your uh, to your ferrets. They absolutely love it. Until the next time, I'll uh, see you again. Goodbye.